Feral Fury might sound like the name for a beat em up or fighting game, but it's actually a rogue like twin stick shooter, and a surprisingly good one. Maybe they should have called it Geese of Paw instead. I don't usually like roguelikes generally speaking, they always promise endless replayability and tough skill based challenge, but in practice they mainly come down to luck. Feral Fury is no exception, while there is a skill element to the gameplay, a lot if not most of your success on a given run comes down to getting the right drops at the right time. You could get lots of money but have nothing to spend it on, or constantly find shops and vendors but if no coins drop, you're screwed. Another reason I don't like roguelikes is they seem to use random as a substitute for level design and pacing. Feral Fury has this a bit, with a few rooms that come across as downright unfair in my opinion, such as rooms where you spawn surrounded or a room that's completely covered in landmines and spinning blades. And some floors can be very combat heavy while others are very puzzle and obstacle dependent. So far it might sound like I hate the game, but it's not that bad. Most of that comes down to the presentation. The graphics are pleasing, the sound's good enough, and I love the theme of powered armoured space pandas. It also plays fast in the sense that there's no bullshit between you and the game, and it's not the kind of game where you have to be careful of traps and the like. It also plays well. It certainly works as a twin stick shooter, and it can even get a bit bullet hell at times. Dead enemies drop orbs that can be spent on permanent upgrades on the main menu, so each run increases your knowledge of the game and allows you to power up your character. Unfortunately you really need some of these upgrades, like the item drop rate and speed increases, just to stand a chance. So I recommend starting on easy mode until you've got enough power to not get instantly obliterated on normal. I got it for £1 on Steam Seal, so for that price you can't really go wrong. It's a solid enough game to boot up and do a couple of runs while listening to a podcast or the like. 